we're about to get ready to go to Joanne's so we can get the rest of the supplies for um, to make the stress. And hopefully I can get yes, Joanne's. And hopefully I can get some footage in Joanne's. This will be my first time vlogging in public, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're here in Joanne's. I'm trying to talk quiet because I don't want to look crazy, but I need some muslin that is. Uh, 118 inches wide. So let me see if I can find that. Yes, baby. Naya made me fall down. Did she? Get off for that. And I think this is, yeah, 120. This is what they do every time we come into Joy. <laughs> Stop it. They probably know us by first freaking name. Yes, daughter. Hmm? These little interfacings. Okay, so we just finished with Joanne's. Joanne's. And I couldn't get that much footage inside because we had toddler meltdowns in the Joanne's. So, but I did get um, like four yards of 120 inch wide muslin. And I got some fusible interfacing and some pins. Finally, y'all. Finally, I got some pins, so I'm not struggling searching for pins. Even though I didn't get as many pins as I would like, but I did get pins. Sit down, please. Next time. Hmm? Yes. Next time, I will do a vlog without the kids in the car, or without the kids enjoying, so we can actually effectively. Look at the fabric, but anyway, three-year-old meltdown in the store. Huh. And she wants more dresses, y'all. Okay, so this is the design I came up with. It is a combination of number three and number five from my last video. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link it above right here. This dress has a sweetheart neckline and straps that cross in the front. It has a waistline seam and it is column shaped with a slit there at the princess seam. It's completely backless and has a gourd center back. I love that y'all. And then it zips up with a zipper and it has buttons. I will be using some stretch satin here, some lace, a beaded lace. You're also going to need some muslin for your underlining. You're going to need some fusible interfacing, some tool, wriggling boning, half inch there. And then you're also gonna need quarter inch. I'm going to be using one inch elastic. You could use ribbon. I'm going to use one inch horsehair as well. An invisible zipper, I love the really long ones. And some coverable buttons. So now we're gonna go ahead and drape. I'm going to speed through this whole draping process because I have a detailed video on how to drape a sweetheart neckline, a bodice. And I did that video, so when I make my wedding dresses, I don't have to go step by step. So I will link that here above so you can pause it and go over and watch that video. Here, I'm just letting you guys know that you want to adjust your dress form to your height or your bride's height to make sure that you're draping, um, you're getting the length for the train and everything correctly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drape and you guys can listen to music while I drape. keep forgetting to tell you guys this, but the techniques and the order of assembly that I use to make all of my wedding dresses are not exclusive to just wedding dresses. You can also use this to make prom dresses and any kind of special occasion or evening gown that uh, you're making. So keep that in mind. And if you guys are not part of the Mom That Sews family, make sure to hit that subscribe button below for more videos like this. I also wanted to take this time to give a special thanks to the sponsor of this video, Metatron Fabrics. Uh, their link will be in the description box below. They so kindly sent me um, the stretch satin and the beaded lace for this dress, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The satin actually reminds me of a silk chamuse that I got from um, Mood Fabrics. If you guys want me to do a comparison video, I can.
but the price is totally different. The stretch satin from this, uh, from them, is like $10 a yard or something like that. And the silk chamise from Mood is like $34.99 a yard. So, I mean, if you guys are on a budget and you're looking for um, the look of silk chamise, I would recommend getting the, the stretch satin from them. And I have the link below in the description box. And then they also sent me six yards of their beaded lace and it is absolutely gorgeous. I will be adding a couple more pearls to it just because they, the beads, the lace doesn't have any pearls on it. So if you guys are interested, check out the link below in the description and let me know what you think. Here I am getting the length for the train. So I'm measuring from the top of the center back and I'm getting the length of the train. And then I'm measuring from my waistline uh, on the side seam and getting the side. And then I'm also measuring to where, from where the gourd panel is gonna start down to get the, to like, to get the length of the gourd panel. Now I'm taking everything off the dress form and I'm just going to go ahead and iron out all of the pieces to make sure that when we're chewing our pattern that everything's nice and perfect. Okay, so now it is time to chew the pattern pieces that we draped on the dress form. So I'm going to make sure that my center front is perfect, uh, perfectly parallel with one of the straight lines. And I'm making sure that my tracing paper is too. And I'm just going to trace over the lines that we have marked on our pattern piece. And I'm making sure to smooth out all of my curves and make sure that my straight lines are straight. And I'm gonna add a centimeter seam allowance all the way around. And I'm going to do that to all of the pieces. Now, when I actually um, finished this, I added another a centimeter to the side seams of all of the pieces. Well, all of the side the side pieces because I want to have a two centimeter seam allowance there on my side seam, just in case I need to make adjustments a little bit later on. So that's what I did. And now I'm drawing out or tracing out my skirt pieces. And remember earlier when we took the measurements, um, we took the measurements for how long we wanted the train and how long we wanted all the other pieces. So now I'm just taking that length and I'm um, subtracting the length that we already have by the length that I want and I'm writing that there at the bottom of the piece so that when I go to cutting out the, pa the pattern pieces for our mock-up, I know how long to extend the piece. And I'm gonna do that for my back pieces as well. And I hope that was really clear. I think in my last video for my custom wedding dress, for one of my brides, I actually went into a little bit greater detail. But if you guys are still confused, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button for me guys so you guys can support my channel and help YouTube promote my videos to people who aren't subscribed to my channel yet. So with magic, we are done and we should have all of our pattern pieces ready to go. This is my mock-up after I sewn it. I didn't uh, include any footage of sewing the mock-up just because I will be posting the wedding dress video pretty soon. Here is the slit that we have and I am actually not happy with the shape of the train so we're gonna go ahead and change that. I also um, think that there's a little bit too much tension here at the front princess seam. So we'll be letting that out just a little bit and also here uh, where it kind of flares out at the bottom. So I'll be letting that out a little bit. 
Also, I will be raising the center back. I think it's way too low. That's like butt crack there. So I'll be raising that. And then uh, this is the gourd panel. And I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm just gonna go with it because that's what we designed. So we'll see how that goes. And then I also know that I need to lower uh, my zipper and add a little bit of ease there in the back princess scenes because that is tight. Um, but yeah, I'm showing you here that I need to lower my zipper. It is a little bit too um, high. I had a trouble getting it there on the dress form. You making those funny faces. Look at his little lip, give some character. Mm -hmm. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one.